Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Five Minute Facebook Ministry. Giving all honor to God, my name is Anthony Daniels, and today we're coming out of the book of Luke, the sixth chapter, the 37th verse. That's Luke 6 and 37. And it reads out of the King James Version Judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Once more, judge not, and ye shall not be judged. Condemn not, and ye shall not be condemned. Forgive, and ye shall be forgiven. Now, these are the words of Christ. And, um, you know, when, when I read this, to me this ties into um, the second greatest commandment, plus to love our fellow man. Because if we love our fellow man, we won't judge him. We won't condemn him. Okay, that's the first thing it says. Judge not and condemn not. Okay, if we love our fellow man, we won't do those two things. And if we're living in love, where we're not judging and condemning our fellow man, we're probably living under the will of God. Therefore, when Jesus comes back, we won't be judged and condemned like those who haven't found Jesus Christ and who aren't living. In, in, in God's will. Okay? Now, I believe that um, you know, this also ties in, in, into pulling that, that plank out your own eye before you talk about the splinter in your brother's eye. Because a lot of times we judge people and you know, we're doing the same things or even worse. You know, we're condemning people and we have, God has given us no authority to condemn anybody. God has given us no authority to condemn anybody on this earth. And that what we have to do as Christians is we need to try to introduce people to God, regardless of who they are, regardless of what they do, regardless of what kind of lifestyle they have, we're trying to introduce them to God. And then once we, can, once we introduce them to God and let them meet and start following God, God will judge them and condemn them and change their lives. Okay? God, God will change them and help them get rid of what he, he doesn't want them to have in their lives. Okay, and we can try to help the guy during that process, but we got to let God take the lead in that. It's not up for us to go back and say, hey, man, you need to stop doing that. Because, you know, when you do that, you turn people off. You turn people off from who you are and what you're about. Show people how a Christian lives. Okay, that's the first thing, showing them how a Christian lives, not telling them. And then showing them by example what, how Christians live, how Christians do the right thing all the time. And let people watch that and see that. And then just, just bring them to God. You don't need to tell them they're doing anything wrong. God will convict their hearts if you introduce them to God. Because you, know, you, can't, you can't fall in love with God and continue to live the way you live. If you're living in sin. Because you'll understand once you start reading your word that God hates sin. He hates sin. He hates evil. Okay, then it also says, forgive and you shall be forgiven. Forgive and you shall be forgiven. Again, another part of that love, that second commandment, second greatest command. Okay, forgive and you shall be forgiven. And what I want to tell you is, forgiving is not for the other person. Forgiving is not for the, forgiving someone is not for the person you're forgiving. Forgiving is for you. So you, God wants us to forgive because he knows that when we forgive our fellow man, we free ourselves from the bondage of, of holding that in, of not forgiving someone, of keeping it close. So call them up and say, hey, I forgive you. Don't even worry about how they're going to respond to it. You want to let them know I've forgiven you. What you did to me doesn't matter anymore. I've forgiven you. And free yourself up from that bondage, that, that holding on to that rage and that anger, that frustration has had on your life. You've heard, heard so many, I've heard so many testimonies of people who, who you know, once, they, once they've forgiven someone, truly forgiven, you know, just because you say, I forgive you, you can't say it, you've got to mean it. And, and part of that is that when, when you try to forgive someone, you know, Satan is going to try to bring it back to you because he knows, he knows, you, he, he doesn't want you to let it go. But once you say that, you guys just say, Lord, 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 you've given me the strength to get over that. I've already forgiven them. That's not going to bother me anymore. Claim it. Speak it. 
And watch how it tra transforms your life and how you live and how you feel about that individual and, and, and what they did to you. It will not matter anymore. And it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Forgive them. Let them go. They don't care. They don't care whether you forgive them or not. They're living their life. It's got you all frustrated and bottled up. Okay, so this is the things that we got to do. They're living that love and living in God's will, doing these things, not judging our fellow man, not looking at people thinking, oh, look at me, you know, they ain't got this, they ain't got that, they ain't doing this, or condemning people because they're not doing right. Let's be that light. Let's be that light. And also, you know, if you, if you forgive someone, especially if something really, really bad, you know, they'll have to ask themselves, why is he forgiving me? What makes him forgive me? After what I did to them. I can't believe he forgiven me. Oh, he a Christian. Oh, she a Christian. Wow. I might need to read the Bible and see what, see what it says about forgiving. You know, your actions can bring somebody to Christ. Your action. Be that light. Like I said, be the salt of the earth. Be the salt of the earth. Okay? Remember, we're fighting evil with good. That's all the time that I have. Hey, God bless you. God loves you. I love you too. Have a great day.